Attention gamers, recently in Rav's Igloo, I've been hard at work diagnosing the various syndromes that I encounter on the rift to educate the masses on what to expect when one of their teammates is afflicted. And while symptoms differ greatly among various champs covering everything from failing to understand what a group of pissed off chickens is capable of doing all the way to being born into a bloodline whose family tree is a wreath but one thing is very typical in all of the cases I have studied. Afflicted players always turn into a walking rift piggy bank for the enemy team. And this wouldn't be the true YouTube experience if my scientific work wasn't met with occasional responses from people who are carrying on their sole purpose in life by keyboard warrior condemning me to the darkest parts of hell's anus and saying I should be ashamed because I am quote unquote pathetic for using people who are just learning a champ in my videos. First I think we can all agree that this kid drank a big old cup of pissy pant juice that morning and two call me toxic but if someone wants to learn their champ while playing on windowed mode so that they can have a mouth breathing mobifier guide made in 2016 up on the screen telling them what their abilities do in my rank promos. Then yeah they have earned themselves a role in one of my videos as editing these is a coping mechanism for me recommended by my anger management therapist but just to prove that I am not cherry picking moron straight out of the tutorial. Today I was disgraced with the presence of not one but two afflicted rift dwellers and the best part is, they were both highest mastery with one of them having 1.5 million mastery points on his champ which brings us to mastery level 7 syndrome. The main symptom being so much time sunk into a champ that you have a false sense of comfort always thinking back to that one time you made a super cool play trying to push the limits and picking fights that only Faker himself could pull off, all because you know your champ well enough to not need mobile fire up in the background. It just goes to show that experience is kind of like size and that I don't really think it always matters. And I can tell you from experience with this square chode that, it does matter. You mean to tell me that 4 inches isn't above average? Okay okay I am sensing some issues in the bedroom. Well when he always starts off by saying he is going to raid my booty it isn't exact. Hun what are you doing? Thought you said raid and if you are just going to undersell my pork swords height to miss sexy Lexi then I'll spend this time playing the best mobile MMORPG out there because unlike this relationship, I actually get rewarded for the time I have put into this game collecting and leveling up my army. Lex why don't you join me using my link in the description and we ignore this chick who doesn't know a foot from an inch. Why don't we use one of my favorite exercises where you list the top 5 things you like about the relationship. Easy I'll go first. One I can play it literally anywhere mobile or PC it's so convenient to hop on real quick. Boom, um, Rav I meant to. Two, the graphics team is insane with how realistic they make the characters look. Yeah he loves those graphics. Three opening shards to collect new champs gives me the same feeling I used to get when I opened packs of Pokemon cards. At least I could sell those cards. Is that where my f***ing holographic Bulbasaur went? And the last thing on my list of things I love is how the game is always being updated, like how this month there are new badass champs coming out as well as a new rotation of the crazy Doom Tower. That was good Rav but I meant list what you like about your marriage. Here's what I will say Lex use my link in the description and scan this QR code to get silver XP boosts energy refills shards and Konaru, a crazy good champ for the Doom Tower and then we can talk about our feelings. See what I mean Lex? He's a total dumbass. Raid Shadow Legends. Okay and now we've reached the defining moment where as a viewer you can either take to the comments and sponsor shame me with some path of reasoning about how me accepting a sponsorship is the direct cause of some endangered species of six-legged flamingos dying off due to poor water sanitation in their specific habitat in the Middle East or you can lather the lube on and get ready to roast these rift ruiners together. Okay introducing M7 numero uno the fake tank with the sole goal of making this Lee say that karma's a bitch at least once as she approaches the first fight cockier than a cocker spaniel with three dicks named Richard so big surprise the blind boxer gets a first round karma KO. Meanwhile I was rocking my favorite Santa's little helper looking to press and punch some punk ass hoes and thanks to a wild twinkle shit showing a fake ID trying to pass as a support the lane was looking like an ADC's anonymous meeting where we were gonna take our shirts off rub each other's nipples and sob sad stories about being weak early but enough of that sappy shit I got my two so it was time to mind sweeper some noggins which ended in high noon Obama's wife burning to death and then I guess the wing ding couldn't picture life without her support so she seemingly voluntarily dies as well. So a quick stop in shop ensued to load two swords into my sack representing my big brave balls as I told Thresh's soul stripper that I will rock the greed if she rocks the feed and I'm happy to say everyone played their part.
then checking in on top and it actually was looking good with karma's hands glowing like she just picked a danky infected lint shit out of a dead fat guy's belly button and I too would have thought health plus age diff would determine the duel but blind Rocky Balboa definitely had been deep throating his raw egg shakes because the all in resulted in karma being all out but that said I had eyes on lava lamp Senna who was about as aware as a blind man on a galloping horse so I caressed the tantrum tomato until the finger fizzler arrives and then we played a quick game of surprise you a dead bitch. And round 1 of Peekaboo was such a hit that we immediately queued up for another but obvious signs of danger were ignored so despite Rift Alexa announcing the Ravi Boy Rampage, I had to spectate the rest without color which was fine because Beedrill got ring popped and then we get our first sighting of the 1.5 million man who came in to do nothing but smell that Kaisa's fear farts as she fleed. Then up top our favorite feeding Disney princess is actually about to break her kill virginity as she gets Lee so low and on fire you would think his charades card red basement of a burning building but the fact that that psychopath is staying in lane 1 bards far away from death just shows he's up to no good as he follows a sonic shitter into battle dashing 27 yards in less time than it takes this reflexless Rhonda to press Q. Ah and now things start to get good because Mr. Millie Mastery Man Bear Pig starts to play a bigger role and his performance does not disappoint as legend has it his mere presence is enough to pull tower aggro absent of any attack resulting in him being the square that the shitter stick landed on in this game of homicide hopscotch. Meanwhile I am bot trying to get this bitch with the most deformed purple latissimus dorsi muscles I've ever seen out of my face so when back up arrives I got all tough toddler on her ass showing her just how many consecutive front flips I can do while seemingly accomplishing nothing and sure enough since karma's a useless bitch we have a visitor the corrupt cataracts killer is his street name but you can just assume by my usual finesse in these videos that I found a way out. But at least the animal avatar has the right idea by heading top and deeming that a scuttle crab with a BMI literally off the charts would pair nice with the three spirit beast orgy going on inside his body and I'm all for the whole nose tackle the tower routine but the line should have been drawn before signing up for a pay per view slugfest against the sightless Sylvester Stallone so it's no surprise a little flash jabba dadash ends this scene. And you would have thought I broke a mirror while walking under a ladder to avoid a black cat I just saw on Friday the 13th based off of how bad my karma was in this game as she once again stares straight into the eye of danger making this M7 melt fest even more ironically idiotic because this particular I can't stare back but boy can it give quite the ass kicking that combo so well with flashing in the wrong direction before dying. Anyways me, my shift shitting support and this inbred crossbreed of wild creatures are just hanging out like a hare in a biscuit when I see the bladed bug so I peace out but not our friend no he's gonna get one prompt slap and then immediately turn back for more, grinning pervertedly as he goes down but thankfully I was in the area saying tisk tisk so I auditioned for the next Avengers by cannonballing my small bunny like ball sack onto his dome to take the trade. And one thing I learned about the insect with flaming flippers as arms is that he does really well in private one on one settings but in larger crowds he gets a bit awkward like he doesn't know what to do with his hands or something so he opts to just die instead. But I wasn't getting excited yet because when these two M7 morons group up it's the worst combo since peanut butter and sawdust and apparently this karma's mantra is get kicked then dick so needless to say the heist that had no objective in the first place ends early for her which leaves just he who is both a rift syndrome and multiple personality disorder alone and I don't understand how when the other team has a new deer he's always like a 39 speed fucking bicycle flying out of any situation but this new deer is just like a dumb deer in the headlights turning to run back onto that interstate highway he just crossed. That said I'm not just here to be a cute little elf on the shelf and do nothing to combat an insane influx of funds to the bad guys so I decide to peek a boo parkour onto Project Praying Mantis only to immediately regret my decision and hit Ctrl Z by actually hitting R. Then I deem it a good idea to blindly approach the death beetle I just blew away but a flash so good you would think they were silicon was enough to get the job done. But it's worth mentioning that the Princess of Patheticsville was hard at work revising her Rift resume unchecking the boxes next to a few bullets like picks smart fights or provides damage while making sure the boxes next to out of position and making Rav mad are unquestionably and boldly filled in. Enter Mumpsimus Mouth Breather number 2 trying to set a new Rift record of having died multiple times during the same fight and you have to applaud the effort, the unyielding brainless effort to achieve such a feat. And for the sake of completeness, I feel the need to Sherlock Holmes a small detail here is at this point in the game he had a chem tank as his mythic and despite having more experience on this champ than Dan Bilzerian has inside of vaginas, a comment from our Ezreal support is enough to influence him to literally sell that shit which was also his only item and to start building a new one.
So while that vast display of ineptitude has me more tilted than the fucking Tower of Pisa we still have other problems on our hand in the form of this traveling sales lady and what is she selling you might ask? Nothing actually she was just running around the map looking for people to give her own money away too. And I don't know if there was like a feeder's pheromone that got released when one of these dumb dick drizzle douches died but it was almost always followed by the other one sprinting over to the area of their death like a brainless bloodhound nose straight up in the air absolutely oblivious to their surroundings until they are getting kicked around and wind tunneled back to oblivion. But all the free samples they were giving out had this colorful winged cockroach feeling comfortable enough to call a cab in our neck of the woods so I politely informed him that I can impregnate a bomb on his buggy bitch ass head and then send him off to deliver the death baby by himself. And aside from insufficiently charged batteries in the brains of those afflicted by syndromes, another common side effect I see is the undying need to split push like it's a poison ivy on their scrotum type of itch that needs to be scratched even if it means overstaying after the restaurant closes and being killed to punish such a lack of courtesy. Then straight on to the next one deciding which dead animal carcass to wear in his next appearance as he unites with the other piece of shit power ranger as they hold their fists up and say together as one, we will fail to kill one and then the rest of his team will come to shit on the spirit beast simp as I come hopping into the multiple homicide to try and find the silver lining but the only thing that is silver here is my rank for all eternity when my top and junglers are being played by a group of stoners who plug their rock band drum sets into the keyboard slot on their computers. Anyways man bear pig wakes up from his ninth nap and heads straight to red buff like some uber eats driver picking it up to hand deliver it straight to someone on the other team but I guess they got tired of waiting for his dead ass and went to get it only to find him trying to eat their order himself so they murdered him. Leaving us with strong evidence that they must just give mastery tokens to anyone who flashes a tit because these two experts in their craft were repping an astonishing 2 and 18 KDA at this point and the rest of their performance was seemingly a competition for who can get their picture next to the phrase intellectually absent in the dictionary which long story short ended in me watching my nexus lose its virginity from grayscale their team's douche diff chirping and our jungler revealing that mastery points have nothing on marijuana. 2 and 20 but I should be ashamed of myself if I say anything negative so I will just say, brush your teeth tonight, rav out.